Hey, this is Allie Edwards, and welcome to the first of nine videos in a new Storytelling with Stamps series here on YouTube and on my blog, celebrating some new stamp sets that we have released recently with Laura Wanzik and a few that are from me as well. So let's dive right in. On this first project, I am working with a pattern paper from our Star Scrapbook Kit. Uh, the actual Star Scrapbook Kit has sold out, but we do have a digital version available. I'm working in the seven by eight and a quarter size here. I've got the full page photo paired with the pattern paper. And then I'm gonna be working on this particular project Project with the 4x6 uppercase alpha stamp set. Uh, using that heart as the base and using the vellum, I'm going to create a pocket there. And above that, I'm going to stamp a title. So for this project, my stamping is only just going to be in the form of a title. And I'm using three different uh, crafters inks that we have on the site, the red, the orange, and the yellow. Those are Redwoods, Tillamook, and Honeyman. We do all of our stamp names based on places on the West Coast. So Oregon, Washington, and then a little bit of California. And you can see here, right now what I'm doing is I'm actually stamping a title. I originally considered stamping on top, stamping my title on top of the vellum. I tested that out. And I didn't really like how that was turning out. So I went ahead and I did it on a piece of white cardstock, which is what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to cut that out and that is going to live above my pocket. It's actually going to get stitched above my pocket. Now one of the things I want to say to you guys is if you encounter a stamp set that is not stamping well, let's say you're getting too much excess ink on there, there's a variety of different things that you can try. Sometimes I've found with some stamp sets that different inks work well. So over the series here in the next nine days and then my next nine projects that I'm going to share with you, I'll be using some of our crafters inks that are available in my shop, but I'll also be using some Tim Holtz inks as well, um, some permanent inks and and just a variety of different ones depending on the project. But here, what I'm stamping for my title is never too old. That is going to be the jumping off point for the story that I'm telling about Anna and Audrey playing with sidewalk chalk uh, in our in our front walkway there. Uh, I stamped never with the red. The two is with the orange and then the yellow for the word old. So bringing them all together to make one long title. And what you can see that I'm doing here is I'm doing a bunch of test stamping, right? I'm kind of trying to decide, you know, how is this, can this fit on this, this, um, the width of the cardstock that I have out there right now? Can it fit on there? Am I getting, am I getting the best version of the stamps that I can? So you'll see that I'm kind of doing it multiple times. I think that this is important for you guys to see because my stamping is never perfect. Like I am not a stamper that's really going for perfection either. One of the things that I really like about stamps is the imperfect quality of them. And there's definitely stampers out there that do amazing, amazing work. Um, very precise, very specific. Mine is not going to be like that. My stamping most of the time is done in a way to support the story that I want to tell. So uh, definitely a more storytelling focused style of stamping and letting it be loose, right? Letting it be loose, letting it be imperfect. Uh, in this case, I wasn't trying to get it in exactly a straight line. I was totally fine if things were a little bit off or they weren't stamped in a, you know, whatever the quote unquote perfect manner would be. And that's something that I like to keep in mind with all of my memory keeping projects too, is, you know, letting it, letting it be what it is. But also you can see that doesn't mean that I don't retry or redo things as I'm working with uh, my stamps, especially when I'm doing something like this. This is one, especially with alpha stamps, and when you're doing titles, I know sometimes you can uh, put all the stamps in a row next to each other, right? The reason why I like to do individual stamping one letter as, at a time is because I like to have more control over how close the letters are to each other. So when I got to the point here where I was satisfied with my title, which was my title was good enough, I went ahead and trimmed that out using my Fiskars trimmer. And then I paired that again with that Hero Arts vellum um, that it's gonna create a pocket that's gonna be on top of this uh, heart pattern paper. So I'm going to do a temporary, a little bit of temporary adhesive on there, and then I'm going to actually take it over to my sewing machine and run it through the sewing machine to give it that finished 
edge, which is something that I really like in these kinds of projects. Um, giving, you know, just an opportunity for a little bit of additional texture. You can see I'm erasing on there because I did use my pencil in the very beginning to trace the outline of the vellum there, trace the outline, excuse me, the outline of the heart in order to get it close to the, the shape of the heart there um, on that pattern paper. So I ran that through the sewing machine. I think I have a green ink on my sewing machine or a green ink, a green, I have green thread on the sewing machine right now. So the first step for me was to simply just get it in the right spot um, and to get the title on top of there. Then I took the whole thing over to my sewing machine and ran it through to create a pocket. So now I've got my full page, uh, full page photo there paired with a full page that's ready for some journaling. Originally, I was thinking that I would add tags, that I would do some storytelling on tags. And so I was kind of playing around with which tags would I want to have inside this pocket. I don't end up going in this direction. In the end, I end up uh, printing out journaling on a transparency, which we're gonna see in a minute, and actually in the shape of a heart. Uh, and that becomes the journaling. Also, as I was pulling out those tags, I saw that I had one of these felt flowers uh, available in my stash of stuff there. I think this was from the Currently Story Kit. The, at first I thought I was going to attach it with a brad and then I the stitching in the middle of the flower is really tight and it wasn't working very well. So I end up just using red line tape to adhere the um, adhere that flower on the outside of the pocket. I liked bringing that light blue color in which was something that you can see over in the photo. So definitely looking for opportunities to bring out some of the colors from the photos and pair them with this second page. So it worked really well like the yellow of Audrey's shirt is repeated on my pocket over there on the stamping in my pocket. Uh, that worked out well too. What I ended up doing for the journaling is I took my page here or took my, <laughs> took my thoughts over to my computer, set up a heart. I'm using Illustrator for this. This is something you could probably do in Photoshop. I'd have to think through how you would actually do that. Uh, but in Illustrator, you can flow text inside of a shape. And so I was able to flow my text writing about Anna and Audrey and hoping that they're never too old for fun stuff like this and type that up and then printed that out on transparency. I do have another video here or on YouTube, depending on where you're watching this, where you can learn a little bit more about printing on transparency. I'm taking one of the tabs, the sticker tabs from the May Stories by the Month kit. I've used all of these multiple times. Um, I love those tab stickers. They're so great for adding on to a variety of things. I added on I added it on to the top of that transparency there to to designate and show that you could pull that out to actually read the journaling. The other thing that I decided to add on here too was a puffy sticker. This was a, an add-on I think for the right story kit, which is the current story kit right now if you're watching this in real time. Uh, it's a puffy sticker, puffy, puffy sticker phrase I thought was a fun thing to add on top of there. And then I, as I thought about what else I might wanna add onto this page, I decided I didn't wanna add anything else onto my pocket page, but I was going to add some sort of embellishment onto the photo of the girls there. I pulled out a canvas phrase from the rainbow scrapbook kit. And then in my stash of hearts, I found a chipboard heart that has that similar blue color as the flower that I added on uh, to that second page there. And then I decided that I would add the, check this out on top of that chipboard heart. But what I did before I added that on was I used the alphabet again and some stays on ink to repeat the letter A. So both of the girls' names start with A. Um, repeating that on there and then kind of just stamping a few other little extra stamps I just like the look of the black on top of the blue and then I will be adhering the check this out canvas piece on top of the heart there before I adhere that actually down onto the photo. I love the the opportunity to make just little combinations of embellishments like this that can be added onto a photo. Uh, it maintains the integrity of the photo in terms of the photo is still kind of the main star uh, paired with the journaling but it's fun to add a few little embellishments on top of there. All right you guys let me know if you have questions on this project and as I said this is the first in a series of nine uh, projects that I've worked on recently uh, using some new stamps on on different projects let me know if you have questions in the comments below